ओम शांति टुडे इज ट्यूजडे द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट 2023 ऑन दिस ट्यूजडे मॉर्निंग लेट अस लिसन टू द साकार मुरली फ्रॉम आवर बिलविड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू बी सेव्ड डीप सफरिंग फ्रॉम माया टेक असाइलम विद द फादर बाय टेकिंग असाइलम विद गॉड you will be liberated from the bondage of maya for 21 births let's hear the essence once again on this tuesday morning baba says sweet children in order to be saved deep suffering from maya take asylum with the father in order to be saved deep suffering from maya take asylum with the father by taking asylum with god you will be liberated from the bondage of maya for 21 births today's question is by making which effort do you children become worthy of worship and worthy of being in a temple in answer baba says in order to become worthy of worship and seated in a temple make effort to save yourself from evil spirits no evil spirit should enter you when you see an evil spirit in anyone when someone is getting angry or influenced by attachment step away from that person promise yourself that you will remain pure have a true rakhi tied on you today's song is the heart desires to call out to you om shanti devotees always call out to god god is called the supreme father the supreme soul they call out o purifier supreme father supreme soul come and make us children pure from impure therefore all are surely impure because this is the kingdom of ravan and the five vices are omnipresent it isn't that the five vices are still omnipresent in the golden age no that is called a completely viceless world this is a completely vicious world they have forgotten that bharat was completely viceless they go to the temples and praise the deities you are full of all virtues completely viceless here people are completely vicious this is why they call out to the father now what does the father do baba says the father comes and gives asylum to those who are completely vicious he gives them refuge now all refugees baba says now all are refugees and so they are calling out souls call out to their father baba we souls have become completely vicious come and make us viceless people continue to kill one another and this is why they are called devilish they don't know that bharat was the deity world truly people do not know that bharat was a land of the deities and that they used to rule there however for a cycle maya has gradually made everyone become totally impure this is why people say now come and give us impure ones refuge why do people say come and give us impure ones refuge because baba says maya has gradually made everyone become totally impure you have now come and taken the lap of the supreme father the supreme soul in order to become future deities this is god's spiritual godfatherly mission it is a mission for making impure ones pure and thorns into flowers it is the children's business to follow the directions of the supreme father the supreme soul and change thorns into flowers and make residents of hell into residents of heaven what is the children's business baba says it is the children's business to follow the directions of the supreme father the supreme soul and change thorns into flowers and make residents of hell into residents of heaven you say o god the father therefore you surely know him do you not so then you cannot ask where god is souls say o god the father souls call out to the supreme soul he is not visible through these eyes souls too are not visible this is something to be understood baba says souls have the form of light 
the supreme father the supreme soul has the same form the father says you souls shed costumes and take others you souls are imperishable whereas bodies are perishable souls shed their bodies they say my father has died but the soul doesn't actually die what happens souls shed their bodies baba says they say my father has died but the soul doesn't actually die they invoke the departed soul now you understand this human beings of the world don't know the father at all this is why they fight and quarrel so much among themselves now you can't tell what they will do with the missiles they are said to be devilish baba says i don't create such a world baba creates heaven now what is baba telling us you can't tell what they will do with the missiles they are said to be devilish baba says i don't create such a world baba creates heaven he makes you into the masters of heaven therefore the father surely has to come the father says children i have come to make those who have become impure and unhappy ever happy therefore no one would say o purifier come or o god the father have mercy they never call out in this way because they are happy anyway everyone in sorrow remembers him souls remember him there is happiness and sorrow experienced through their bodies when a soul doesn't have a body he is beyond happiness and sorrow what is baba saying here there is happiness and sorrow experienced through their bodies when a soul doesn't have a body he is beyond happiness and sorrow the father says i enter this one and name him brahma some understand this very clearly whereas others don't so it is understood that they are not worthy of going to the pure world and this is why they don't follow shrimat this is the devilish community of ravan people burn an effigy of ravan every year that is a symbol they also have a rakhi tied every year because they don't remain pure they have a rakhi tied and then become impure this is why they have tied this is why baba says they have the rakhi tied year after year the rakhi is a symbol of purity a rakhi is sent to those who indulge in vice promise that you will remain pure by becoming pure you will receive the fortune of the kingdom for 21 births baba says i alone come and make all of you worthy of worship you are now worshipers you worship deities pebbles and stones etc and continue to stumble around i liberate you from that stumbling and make you as worthy of worship as lakshmi and narayan baba says you have come here to change from an ordinary human into narayan you have been suffering from maya for half a cycle and you have now taken asylum with the supreme father the supreme soul mamma too has taken asylum this baba has also taken asylum with shiv baba who brahma baba that one doesn't have a body of his own his name is shiva shiv baba's name never changes the names of human souls keep changing what is baba saying shiv baba's name never changes the names of human souls keep changing souls receive 84 names human beings don't know these things they speak of 84 births but no one knows who takes 84 births the people of bharat who were deities are the ones who take 84 births what is baba saying they meaning the ordinary people they speak of 84 births but no one knows who takes 84 births the people of bharat who were deities are the ones who take 84 births this is an unlimited drama it is human beings who have to know this you know that god the father is the creator of heaven and so you should certainly inherit baba says you know 
that God the Father is the creator of heaven and so you should certainly receive your inheritance of heaven. Bharat was heaven and then Maya that is Ravan snatched away that inheritance. You now have to conquer Maya once again. Those who conquer Maya conquer the world. Let's hear that again. Baba says those who conquer Maya conquer the world. When you are defeated by Ravan, you become devils and you now have to become deities. Thorns have to become buds and then buds have to be made into flowers. When storms of Maya come, the buds and flowers fall off. Some belong to the mother and father and then divorce him. These matters have to be understood. Everything is explained with dates and time periods etc. This human world tree is inverted and the seed is up above. So what is Baba saying? This human world tree is inverted and the seed is up above. This is why people remember him and say, O oh God the Father. It is very difficult to understand this knowledge. Few children understand that everyone remembers the one who is the father of all souls. We are brothers. Everyone should receive the inheritance from the father. This is called a brotherhood. You are brothers. You have to receive the inheritance from the father. He gives everyone the inheritance of happiness and peace. The father comes and teaches you in the form of the teacher. Then he becomes the Sadguru and takes you back with him. Only God the father is called the truth. This is his company of the truth. The company of the truth takes you across. That is the saying. The company of the truth takes you across. Destruction now has to take place. You all have to go to the land of peace and the land of happiness. People say, take my boat across. We are drowning in an ocean of poison. Therefore, the father has to come to take you to the land of peace and the land of happiness. For half a cycle, it is a land of happiness and for half a cycle, it is a land of sorrow. This Bharat is completely impure. It has become a land of bhogis. Who are bhogis? People who indulge in sensual pleasures. Baba says, this Bharat is completely impure. It has become a land of bhogis. It would not be called a land of yogis. The golden and silver ages are called the kingdom of Yogeshwar. They also call Sri Krishna as Yogeshwar. What is Baba saying? The golden and silver ages are called Yogeshwar. The golden and silver ages are called the kingdom of Yogeshwar. They also call Sri Krishna Yogeshwar. You have to have yog with God and claim that status. You are now claiming that. The father explains to you so well. The one who explains to you is the ocean of knowledge. There cannot be a human ocean of knowledge. What is Baba saying? The one who explains to you is the ocean of knowledge. There cannot be a human ocean of knowledge. This Baba doesn't call himself an ocean of knowledge. Who? Brahma Baba. You are now becoming master oceans of knowledge. You swallow all of this knowledge from the ocean of knowledge. Baba says, just as students swallow all of that knowledge from a teacher and become barristers, in the same way you swallow the whole ocean of this knowledge. When you have taken all of this knowledge, you will then receive your reward. The father will go back to the land of Nirvana. You children claim your inheritance number-wise according to your efforts. Through this knowledge, you become deities and are constantly happy. You are now in God's asylum. Baba is liberating you from the bondage of Maya for 21 births. The father explains to you and makes everything so easy. What is Baba saying? You are now in God's asylum. Baba is liberating you from the bondage of Maya for 21 births. The father explains to you and makes everything very easy. Only those who are to become ones with divine intellects will become those. You understand that you claim your inheritance from Baba every cycle. 
Maya snatches it away from you and I then come and give you your inheritance of happiness and peace. Ravan gives you an inheritance of sorrow and Rama gives you an inheritance of happiness. Baba tells you for how many births and for how long you receive the inheritances of happiness and sorrow. The father says, Simply remember me, the father. I, a soul, am a child of the supreme father, the supreme soul. That's all. What do we have to remember? I, a soul, am a child of the supreme father, the supreme soul. That's all. Continue to remember the father and your sins will be absolved. You will become the kings who are conquerors of sin. Baba says the era of King Vikramajit who conquered sins began in year 1 and then after 2500 years the era of King Vikram who committed sins began. Vikramajit and Vikram are the two eras of Bharat. Everyone knows about the era of Vikram but they have forgotten about the era of Vikramajit. This is a study. Look how far the Murli travels. How else would the Murlis reach the brothers and sisters? Tapes are also sent everywhere. People at all centers will continue to listen to the tapes. Baba says, tapes are sent everywhere. People at all the centers will continue to listen to the tapes. This Murli is wonderful. It is remembered of this that the gopis were desperate to listen to it. The father says, I come into the impure world. In the golden age, the deities have limitless happiness. No one else can have as much happiness. They live in palaces studded with diamonds and jewels. Here, gold is so expensive. There, you will build palaces with golden bricks. What is Baba saying? They live in palaces studded with diamonds and jewels. Here, that is right now in Kaliyug, gold is so expensive, there you will build palaces with golden bricks. There they will be studded with diamonds. Look what the father makes you children from what you were. You simply have to promise to remain pure. There should be no evil spirit of anger. You can understand when that evil spirit has entered someone. Therefore, you have to separate that one from everyone else. Baba says there are many who are unable to destroy their attachment even now. Just as a female monkey has attachment, so people too have attachment to their children. Monkeys have the vices in them the most. From being like monkeys, you are now being worthy of being in a temple. The significance of Raksha Bandhan has been explained to you. It is not just a question of having a Rakhi tied to you. So what is the significance of the Rakhi? Baba is telling us now. A promise is made to the father. Sweet Baba, unlimited Baba, for half a cycle we devotees remembered you. You have now come to make us into the masters of paradise. This is why we become your helpers. We promise that we will never become impure. We will become pure and make Bharat pure. This is such an easy thing. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharna has two points. The first point, follow Srimad and do the service of making impure human beings into pure deities. Become a full helper of the father. Second point, swallow all the knowledge of the ocean of knowledge. Burn away your sins with remembrance of the Father and become a conqueror of sinful actions. Today's blessing, may you have a right to double the fruit by considering yourself to be a server and doing service and fulfill all your duties. Let's hear the blessing again. Baba says, may you have a right to double the fruit by considering yourself to be a server and doing service and fulfill all your duties. Baba explains, while carrying out a task, 
going to work or doing your business constantly remain aware that you are doing that as a duty of service i am doing this as an instrument of service service will then automatically come to you and the more service you do the more your happiness will increase you will of course accumulate for the future and you will also receive the instant fruit of happiness you will claim a right to double the fruit how double you will of course accumulate for the future and you will also receive the instant fruit of happiness says baba you will therefore claim a right to double the fruit when your intellect remains busy in having remembrance and doing service you will constantly continue to enjoy the fruit finally the slogan for today those who remain constantly happy are loved by themselves and also by everyone else slogan once again those who remain constantly happy are loved by themselves and also by everyone else acha om shanti